<laughs> My brother's improvised sledding. <laughs> Brandon, stop screaming! Brandon! So welcome to my laundry room, kind of dingy down here in my basement, but it's alright, it's a laundry room. Anyway, so I have this new washing machine here. Over the summertime, my washing machine broke. It motor, Its motor went out, and so it wasn't spinning the clothes dry anymore. Um, when it would spin, it would just leave the clothes like totally soaking wet. So anyway, just in case that ever happens to you, save yourself some time. Pretty much when the motor goes out, it's easier and cheaper to just replace your washing machine than it is to get it fixed. So... Anyway, I ended up with this one off of Craigslist. It's an older model front loader, and I'm really happy with it. It uses less electricity, uh, it spins the clothes really, really fast, and gets them much, much drier than the other one did, even before it was broken. So it saves time on drying, whether I'm drying them, you know, outside or whatever. <clears throat> and for people who use a dryer, you know, it would save electricity that way. And it also uses less water, so it really is a big saver save the water, electricity, and, you know, uses less detergent even, so stretches that longer, and it still gets the clothes very, very clean, so, yeah, I'm really happy with it, but again, this is older, and I got this on Craigslist, it was just over $100, so it wasn't too bad, but anyway, what I really wanted to talk to you about was this stain, <laughs> it's an oil or grease stain of some sort, I'm not even sure what it was I got on here, but anyway, I don't know if any of you ever, like, struggle with oil or grease stains on your clothes. Those are one of the hardest ones that I had to get out. And so I um, figured out a way to get it done, and that's just with regular, ordinary dish detergent. I keep this in my laundry room because I don't use it upstairs um, or for dishes. I use this um, in many of my recipes. I'm sure you've seen before where I um, have a recipe that calls for, say, a drop or two of dish detergent to emulsify something. But otherwise, I keep it down here in my basement so that when I get some sort of a stain like this, I can get rid of it. So when it's an oil or grease stain, I just put it straight on the clothes. And then if I have some sort of another stain, you know, like a grass stain or some other thing that isn't quite as tough to get out, I actually mixed some of the soap and water together in this spray bottle. And so I'll just spray it on that. And so instead of buying those specialty things that help to get rid of stains and stuff like that, those like pre-treatment stuff, just a single bottle of this lasts forever. I mean, I think I've had this bottle for like five years. Again, I don't use it for my dishes. All I use it for is a couple of drops here and there for a recipe or, you know, in this for my pre-treating laundry. So it lasts a really, really, really super long time. Much cheaper than those spray, those stained pre-treatments, excuse me, and much, you know, easier to use, I think, because they don't smell as awful and whatnot. So anyway, you just put that on there. I'm going to scrub at it for just a couple more, you know, seconds here, and then I'm going to wait about five minutes, and then I'm going to throw it in the, wa the washer here, get it started, and you'll see it, it really does get the stain out really well and has no problems at all. So, yeah, it's really effective, really inexpensive, and I can't find any other way to pre-treat stains that is any more economical than this. So, yeah, hopefully this helps you. Okay, so the jacket has been washed and hung to dry, and so here it is all finished. And as you can see, there is absolutely no sign of that stain whatsoever. Unfortunately, though, this t-shirt made it through the wash without me noticing that it had some oil stains. And so I don't know if you can see, but right here and right there, there are a couple of oil spots. So, yeah, when you throw them in the washing machine just the way they are without pre-treating them, it does not come out. So that's why I really enjoy this um, really cheap-to-make laundry uh, pre-treatment stain stuff. So yeah, it really works on a lot of different stains. The ones that I have found that it works best on though, of course, is the oil. But it really does work well on a lot of different things. So yeah, if you use that stuff, um, that expensive laundry pretreatment stuff, maybe give this a whirl and see how it works for you. So today they have free ice skating. And so I thought maybe it'd be a nice treat once we got back from that to have some nice hot cocoa. Unfortunately, most hot cocos are full of all kinds of bad ingredients. For instance, corn syrup, hydrogenated oils, diglycerides, and other artificial flavorings, etc. So if you wanted something that didn't have all of those, you know, preservatives and other junky ingredients, and you wanted to save some money at the same time, you can make your own bulk hot cocoa mix. So here's what I have here. Um, the mix, we're just going to put it all in a bowl and mix it all together, and the recipe is really simple. So the first thing we're going to start with is some uh, non-fat milk powder. So 
Having tested several different types of non-fat milk powders, I do know that the higher quality versions really do taste better. So skip the store brand and then go for something a little more name brand. I usually don't endorse name brands, but this time it really does matter. So go ahead and get some sort of a good quality, um, you know, store brand dry milk powder. And if you wanted to not use this, you can. I'll explain in a minute how to do that without that. So you're going to need three cups of a non or a dry milk. Then we're going to use three quarters of a cup of any sugar you would like. Um, one half a cup of cocoa powder and then an eighth teaspoon of salt. It's really super simple, just those four ingredients. And if you wanted to use a different milk, say you wanted to use an almond milk, a soy milk, you know, a hemp milk, whatever, any other sort of milk substitute that you would prefer, or even just regular ordinary milk, what you would do is leave out this ingredient, add these three together, and then when you go to make the mix, what you're gonna actually do is just heat milk instead of water, and then add the hot milk to this mixture with the way that I'm going to do it today with the dry milk and then with the uh, sugar and the um, other ingredients, the cocoa, etc. It's going to make it to where all you have to do is add hot water. So here we go. I have all of the ingredients in the bowl and it's really simple and easy to do. Just put it in here and I'm going to use a whisk because the cocoa powder does tend to clump and so it kind of makes it to it so it doesn't clump up too bad. So we'll mix it together and finish it up. super easy. So now you want to transfer it into some sort of an airtight container like this or whatever type of container you have around of course and then um, it looks just like the traditional stuff. Very similar and then you can use how much or however little as you like instead of it being in the packets. So for a typical cup of water, one cup of water you're going to want to use about a quarter of a cup of this mixture to make what would typically be like a normal packet. And then if you've chosen to make it without the dry milk, you're going to want to use just about a tablespoon instead of a quarter cup for a one cup of water. Um, or you could just use a spoon like we do here, and then you can just decide how much ever it is makes it taste right when you're only making a half a cup or whatever like we do for our children. So there you go. Super easy to do and save some money and, you know, make something healthier. So we're here to the ice skating place putting on our skates and you should check this out sometimes they have like sporting events like you know this one is sponsored by a uh, colorado um, hockey team so yeah that's why it's free so you should totally check that out and see what you can find in your area it's totally fun you like the cocoa yes <laughs> it tastes good Yes, it's delicious. Warm up with the cocoa and a kitty on your lap. <laughs> there you go. So was ice skating fun? Yes. It usually is. Yeah. yeah there's a lot of people there, a lot of families. It makes a good family trip. Yeah. What else? People in friend groups. I saw some couples yeah. there, so maybe it made a good frugal date. Yeah, it was fun, huh? Yes.